Hello everyone. This video is about redox couple and redox potential. In one of the previous videos, that is introduction to the biological oxidation and electron transport chain, we discussed that the energy in the foods is extracted in the form of electrons. And these electrons, they enter into the electron transport chain and due to their flow in the electron transport chain, energy is released. This energy is used for the synthesis of ATP. Here, the concept of this video is why these electrons are moving in a particular direction and what decides their flow in the electron transport chain. And the answer is, it is because of redox potential. Now, we'll discuss what is redox potential and redox pair in detail. Now, coming to the meaning of redox couple or redox pair, when a substance exists both in the reduced state and oxidized state, the pair is called as redox pair or redox couple. For example, NAD plus NADH is a redox pair or redox couple. So, in this pair, you can see NAD plus is the oxidized form and NADH is the reduced form. So, here the electron donor is also called as the reducing agent or reductant and the electron acceptor is called as the oxidizing agent or oxidant. For example, so NADH can donate the electron, so and you call NADH as the reductant, whereas NAD plus accepts the electrons, so that is why it is called as the oxidant or oxidizing agent. Oxidation of a compound, that is loss of electrons from a compound, always results in the reduction of the second compound. So, reduction means gain of electrons. So, loss of electrons from a compound results in the gain of electrons by the second compound. In simple, when the reduced and oxidized forms are together, that is known as the redox couple. Now, coming to the redox potential, redox pairs, they differ in their tendency to lose the electrons. So, this tendency to lose the electrons is called as the redox potential. Coming to meaning of standard redox potential. So, when this tendency to lose the electrons is measured under standard conditions, then it is called as standard redox potential. Means you are providing the standard pH, standard temperature, everything. So, under those standard conditions, whenever you are measuring the this redox potential, that is tendency to lose the electrons or gain the electrons, then it is called as the standard redox potential. So, generally, in oxidation reduction reactions, whenever those reactions happen, there is change in the free energy. So, this change in free energy is proportional to the tendency of reactants to donate the electrons or accept the electrons. So, the free energy change can be expressed numerically as oxidation reduction or simply redox potential. So, more negative redox potential represents a greater tendency of reductant to lose the electrons. Whenever you say positive redox potential, it indicates greater tendency of a oxidant to accept the electrons. Always electrons will flow from a redox pair with more negative redox potential to another redox pair with more positive redox potential. Now coming to examples of some redox couple with their redox potential. Starting with NAD plus NADH pair, their redox potential is minus 0.32. And coming to the last one, that is oxygen and water, its redox potential is plus 0.82. And the remaining pairs, they have the redox potential in between these two. So, when you see the examples, the redox potential of NAD plus and NADH pair is more negative, and oxygen and water pair is more positive. Now, the electrons will move from that more negative pair to the more positive pair. So, that's why the flow of electrons in the electron transport chain is unidirectional. That is, they move from NADH or FADH2 to oxygen. 